Hey, Steve Yanni here at High Octane Classics in Auburn, Massachusetts. There's something very, very cool. Of course, we all remember 1969 and a half, the six pack. Dodge Super B and Plymouth Rotor six barrels. Well, this looks like one, but not so fast. It's kind of better in a lot of ways. And we'll get to that in a second. But of course we see this fiberglass hood with the cold air scoop that's standard stuff on six pack cars in the 69 and a half. Of course the steel wheels, standard stuff on the six pack cars in the 69 and a half. Red line tires, also standard on the six pack cars in the 69 and a half. But we go onto the hood of this one, we see something a little bit different. And one thing that's kind of cool, by the way, is those original six-pack hoods had pins on all four corners. So to take the hood off, uh, you did that. Not here. This is a fiberglass hood from AAR, which is a great aftermarket manufacturer of fiberglass panels. And it has hinges, so no need to pick it up and break your back. But again, it's lightweight fiberglass. And here's the AAR logo. And beautifully done underneath. I, I dare say this is far nicer than the fiberglass hoods offered on those six-pack cars. And yes, it has the uh, mandatory air cooler or the air grabber type deal right there which is very good but the engine here is not a 440 or a six pack rather this is a 383 low deck with a 451 stroker kit hidden inside so it's actually 11 cubes bigger than a 440 has a single edelbrock four barrel carburetor on a dual plane edelbrock aluminum intake manifold and speaking of aluminum and edelbrock here are the aluminum e street cylinder heads which shave Oh, a good 50 pounds off the nose of this car, and they flow way better than any 906 iron Chrysler head ever could. Of course, it has the aluminum water pump, which is a Mopar performance goodie right there. First seen on the 65 race Hemi. Very cool to see that. Another 20 pound shed right there. And a nice big original style radiator here, keeping things cool. And uh, ex exhaling, set of tube steel headers with ceramic jet hot coating, so they look pretty and stay pretty. MSD spark plug wires and uh, electronic ignition conversion. Otherwise, it looks very clean and pure under the hood. And again, uh, this is correctly presented with this yellow paint. Now, as we move our way around to the, uh, the front here, we'll see that this has name brand radials up front, nice big ones here on a 15 by seven Chrysler wheel with uh, the chrome lug nuts, like a six pack car, disc brake conversion up front. There's the big disc for the single piston, uh, a body style disc brake, good stuff. But the beauty is the red lines here are actually added to make it look like an old G6015, but without the bias ply squirm on the open road. Now the most telling thing here is right on the fender. Belvedere. Okay, this is not actually a Roadrunner. Rather, this car was born a B-Code Slant 6 Grandma's Belvedere, but a nice one, a really solid car. Two-door post body, not the hard top. This is the one you want. And the VIN reads RL21B, which is RL is the two-door Belvedere sedan, B Slant 6, 1969, built at, uh, I believe, St. Louis, the E. So again, the beauty here is that it's a clone, a tribute, a replica. And, and the good news there is that it's priced accordingly. And uh, you can actually enjoy it without fearing, you know, ruining or losing a, 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 a time capsule. But again, beautifully restored car. A bench seat up front, which is what you want in a less is more vehicle like this. Nice upholstery on this one, looking really good. Four speed pistol grip shifter and a radio delete with a trio of auto meter gauges to tell you about oil pressure, temperature, etc. And again, this was born a six cylinder Belvedere two-door post, a very austere car. And best of all, this is a California body. More on that right here at the quarter panel. Now, oh, and before we get there, by the way, you have to remember that when you see the post, the rear window has a little button. It swings out like that, whereas the hard tops, it goes down. And this is part of the way that Chrysler reduced expense and cost. That's how they got the Roadrunner to be about 2,600 bucks base price post, about 3,000 with a hard top. So it's cool to pop out windows. Again, less is so much more. Now, the thing about the quarter panels on a California car or any rust-free car is you look right here, the quarter panel extension right there. It's thin, still has the factory dimples from the spot wells, the tabs underneath, the inner fenders. All this stuff is just pristine, beautiful California virgin. It's not three inches thick, full of putty. So this is a nice, solid California body. Uh, and getting it back to the wheels, at the rear, it has 15 by 
eight Chrysler wheels as found on Ram Chargers and Super Coupes of the mid-1970s. But again, the correct chrome lug nuts. Now the rear axle on this is an aftermarket Dana 60 with a nine and three quarter inch ring gear. So that four speed and that 451 wedge are not gonna harm it. Uh, and also the, the Dana rear axle was standard equipment in all A12, 69 and a half, six pack and six barrel B bodies. So all the, the right stuff is here. Again, it's a nicely done tribute, a clone, whatever you call it. It's probably quicker and faster uh, significantly than an original one. And I love here at the back, Hurst equipped to reference that pistol grip four-speed transmission. And again, just beautiful paint and body work all the way around on this clean, solid California shell that's been lovingly transformed from a ho-hum slant six car into a street fighter with a 451, a four-speed Dana 60 rear axle, big tires and wheels that kind of look retro. So this car is pretty much ready to be driven and enjoyed anytime. So uh, to learn more about this one, you can check it out on the High Octane Classics website. And remember, this car can be purchased with as little as 10% down. And even though High Octane Classics is located in Auburn, Massachusetts, they'll ship it anywhere on the globe. So you don't have to come and visit if you don't want to. You can certainly check this car out online or come and see it. But again, they can ship it to your place. And they do consider trades, uh, late models, classics, you name it, it's all fair game. So again, to learn more about this 69 uh, six pack, what if with a 451 four speed Dana, check it out on the High Octane Classics website. And finally, remember that High Octane Classics has been in business for about 15 years and they're always looking for sales and service uh, representatives, people who are either seasoned pros or beginners with a good solid work ethic. Uh, and you can give them a call at High Octane Classics to learn more at 508 859 4515. And if you have one car or 20 cars to sell, High Octane Classics is always looking to buy. So again, give them a call if you'd like at 508 Eight eight five nine four five one five and learn more about this beautiful 69 Roadrunner. Check it out on the High Octane Classics website.